Hello YouTube, today we're going to teach you how to downgrade your iPhone 2G from any firmware to iOS 1.0. But note, um, your serial number, the um, fourth and fifth number, needs to be equal than 45 or lower than 45. So note that. So of course, so now we're going to start the downgrade process. And first, you need to plug your iPhone 2G into your computer. Of course, your computer needs to be a Windows XP computer. And you're going to put your iPhone 2G on any firmware into recovery mode. So we're going to press the power and home button for 10 seconds. And then let go of the power button. Then keep pressing the home button for 10 seconds. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9 10 okay so home button for 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and just keep pressing the home button until iTunes recognizes it and it will say waiting for iPod You just need to wait for a second to let it pop up. This will take a while. So actually if it's taking too long, actually you can unplug the phone. And plug it in again. And actually you can quit iTunes first. Okay. Plug it in again. Okay, and it says detected an iPhone in recovery mode. And just you need to press the shift button and press restore. And of course, you need to locate your 1.1.4 IPSW. So we're going to restore from 3.1 or any firmware to 1.1.4 first. And I'm going to include all the software required for this downgrade in the description below. And I'm just going to select this 1.1.4 IPSW view and just press open and it will start the restore process to 1.1.4 so I'm just gonna catch you um, guys up after the restore process is done on 1.1.4 so yeah and while your phone is restoring if you see this little um, logo here which is loading don't be worried because it's just normal just wait it to until this thing is done and we'll catch it back later. So after you restore to 1.1.4 the first time, you see this error. As long as it is um, 101, what, what, leave it alone. Just press OK. And this screen will pop up again. So this may sound a little weird, but we're actually going to restore 1.1.4 again. Just trust me, you need to do this. Okay, press Shift, press Restore again. And select the 1.1.4 IPSW again, and then press open. And just let this keep restoring to 1.1.4 again, and I'll catch you back later. Okay, so now you see this 1.0 what what error again, just press OK, and then exit out of iTunes. And now you're going to go to um, the this one. Um, you're going to open this, the file. And you're going to go to here, the Z iPhone patch by what, 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 what. Press this one, and then press this one. And then run it. And of course, we are going to select debug root and I erase. Uh, we are not interested in downgrade baseband. We're just going to select these two. And we're going to press start. And. A bunch of stuff will come up on your iPhone and as you can see here a bunch of stuff a bunch of stuff and just leave it alone it's just doing its thing and it will keep running until the baseband is erased so now we're just basically erasing the baseband of 1.1.4 Don't be worried if you see this happen to your iPhone. It's normal, just leave it alone. And OK. 
keep doing its thing and it will eventually reboot it will boot to the activation screen and focus and This will take a while because it's the first time booting to the activation screen. And okay, now it will go to the um, screen, and now as you can see, it will say. Um, Repair needed because it's normal. There's no baseband on here and now we're going to resolve this And now we are going to exit out of this application and we're going to launch iTunes again and Actually, we need to open Z iPhone GUI here I'll also include this in the description and Now iTunes will say waiting for iPhone just leave it alone, we're just going to open. Okay, now we are going to show advanced features and we're going to recovery mode, okay? Recovery mode. Just gonna click this and we're going to recovery mode because we're just restoring the same firmware on this one. And if it says this error, and you need to do the recovery mode action manually and you're just gonna press the power and home again for 10 seconds then let go of the power button and then put the uh, just keep holding the home button for 10 seconds so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay let go and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and there will be a error popping up out of itunes and saying detect the iphone in recovery mode blah blah blah, blah. and just press rest shift press restore again and with this time we're going to do to 1.1.4 and just press open again and we are going to 1.1.4 again so i'm just always catch you up after the restore so see you guys after the restore and now after the restore of 1.1.4 you'll see this perfectly working iphone um 2g on 1.1.4 but we're still not on 1.0 so now we're gonna put the iphone in recovery mode again for doing the home power 10 second and let go of power press home button for 10 second do that again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and let go of the power button one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and it may recognize an itunes saying that your iphone is in recovery mode and yep it popped up again i'm just gonna press ok Sh pressing shift and then press restore and just go to 1.0 now finally we go to 1.0 and press open and it'll start the restore process for 1.0 so i'll catch you back later as you can see after you've downgraded to 1.0 you'll see the activation screen and you cannot bypass it so today we're going to bypass it now so first you're going to open Z iPhone Remember before um, installing Z iPhone, you will need to um, install Windows.NET Framework 2.0 for Windows XP 32 bit. And now we are going to, so we're just gonna uncheck Jailbreak File System and Unlock SimBlock. And we're just gonna select Activate and just press Perform Actions. And your phone will start to activate. And you'll see this loading symbol. 
Okay, we'll say put in phone in recovery mode. And we'll say the connect to iTunes logo. Just leave it alone. Just let it keep doing its thing. And rebooting phone in recovery mode. Sorry if the video is shaky here. This will take a while and I need to film the whole process to let you know how is it to downgrade. So yeah, this is going to take a while and this process will say and a bunch of stuff will come up on your iPhone. It's just activating it and don't get worried. It's just the normal process for activating your iPhone. So just wait for a second and it will boot up into the home screen of iOS 1.0 and you're ready set to go on 1.0 and then okay and now it's on 1.0 now successfully on 1.0 see this is 1.0 I'm just gonna show you now and this is 1.0 so, yeah, we have successfully downgraded 1.0 on the iPhone 2G. Thanks for watching and peace out.